A critical key in producing a high-quality crop of wheat or corn is applying the right amount of nitrogen fertilizer when the plant needs it most. Veteran grain producers will tell you the best indicator of a plant's need for additional nitrogen has been leaf color, but eyeball estimates of a grain field's color can be very imprecise and costly. A University of Kentucky research team hopes to take the guesswork out of that process. They're experimenting with three different optical scanner systems mounted on this remote sensing platform. These scanners read the visible and non-visible wavelengths of light reflected off the surface of a plant. UK Extension soil specialist Greg Schwab says optical sensors such as these, when refined to meet Kentucky's specific growing conditions, could help grain producers increase their bottom line while protecting the environment. Farmers want to make sure that they have the right amount but if they put on more than they need, then obviously that's just wasted money. And so we're trying to, you know, be on a balance beam of supplying enough to make the yield, but not having so much that they have actually, you know, cause environmental problems. UK Soils Physics Lab technician Jason Walton runs the remote sensing platform and helps soil scientist Ole Wendroth collect sensor information that's used in tandem with data such as soil texture, water content, and mineral soil nitrogen levels. The information that we obtain from these sensors are reflectance numbers for different wavelengths and we can use these numbers to calculate various indices. One index would be nitrogen deficiency, another index would be biomass existence, another index would be fitness of the crop. The final goal of this research effort is to develop computer algorithms for optical scanners that reflect the most common growing conditions found in Kentucky fields. A properly configured optical scanner could then be used throughout the growing season and act much like a home thermostat. So we don't want to over apply nitrogen at certain spots and we want to apply more nitrogen where it would be beneficial. And like the thermostat in the house, the optical sensors show us where there is more nitrogen demand and where there is already sufficient or less demand. Although the technology